The final situation in which we'll need the general journal at this point of the course is situation six, correcting an error in the accounts. Now this has come up on the exam plenty in past years and there's potentially any number of mistakes that could happen. So let's just look at some that we might need to fix. What we'll do is for each uh, mistake, we'll put how it should look on the left hand side and then what was actually done incorrectly on the right hand side. So in this case, a payment of $80 for advertising was incorrectly debited to insurance. So let's assume no GST here or that the GST was actually recorded correctly. So here's what should have happened. We should have had a debit to advertising and a credit to cash at bank and nothing should have happened to insurance. What did we do? We forgot to call it advertising. We did call it a payment, so bank would have gone down. And what we did instead was we called it insurance, which is a debit. So what we're gonna do is fix the accounts on the right to make them look like the accounts on the left. So how are we going to do that? So the first thing we're going to need to do is realize, well, it doesn't fit in any of the other journals. So it's going to have to go in the general journal. So we're going to need to go and do a debit to advertising of $80. And that'll get the accounts on the right to look like the one on the left. You can see the bank ledge is OK. It should have a credit of $80 and it does. So the other one we're going to need to fix then is insurance. So what we'll do with insurance, it should actually have a zero balance. At the moment, it's got a debit of 80. So you can see over here, there's an incorrect amount of 80. So we've got to get this ledger back to zero. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by doing a credit into insurance. So in this case, um, those two accounts will offset each other. Do an oration, probably unlikely to get asked for one for this type of uh, transaction. Uh, most importantly, if we do put the memo number in, so we can see there our accounts on the right now look like the accounts on the left. In this case, we've got an invoice of $40. So this is a credit sale. It was made or charged to B. Andrews. Should have been charged to B. Anderson. So this is all subsidiary ledgers. So in the general ledger, we're all okay because we did actually record a credit sale to a debtor. We just got the wrong debtor. So we should have done a debit to B. Anderson's subsidiary account and nothing to B. Andrews. But what we did was we did nothing to B. Anderson and we did a debit to B. Andrews. So we're going to need to fix that. So we're going to get the ledgers on the right to look like the ledgers on the left. So the first thing we'll do is just in the subsidiary ledger. So you can see here we've actually skipped the general ledger completely because we don't need to adjust it. We're just going to adjust the subsidiary ledger by doing a debit into B. Anderson's account. Conversely, we're going to need to get rid of the $40 in B. Andrews ledger here. That should be zero. So to get rid of it, we're going to do a credit like so and do an oration with our memo number. Another accident, maybe we get the wrong amount. So a payment of $123 for petrol was recorded in the cash payments journal as $132. So we should have done an expense called petrol of $123. Bank should have gone down 123. Uh, we got the debit and credit correct. We just got the wrong amount. So we've got $9 too much. So we've got to get the ledger on the left to look like the ledger on the right. So you can see here the petrol ledger has a debit of $132. It should only be $123 as it is over here. So we're going to need to do a little entry in here of $9 to get that down. And then we've got bank of 123, that's the correct version. Got the incorrect version there of 132. So we'll need to make another little entry in here. So let's start with our debit first of all. We'll do a debit into bank, like the so. So that'll get bank down to a credit balance of 123. And then we'll do a credit to petrol, like so. And that'll get it to the right amount as well. Do an oration with our memo number, and that's the correction of another mistake.